Now, one of the things I like about your club, the, when you go there, there's a poster that I hope it's still there, I'm not sure. But a lot of people go, oh, it's hot and manny or dirty. Oh, this place is filthy, it's dirty, dirty, dirty. But it's like, like, you're there, so you're dirty too. And there's a poster that you have you guys have there. It's like, you don't have to be calling us dirty because, you know, you're here. So you're dirty too. So good for you. Just be forefront and be honest about what it is that you're doing. And I, I really appreciate the fact that you guys do that. And so, how long have you guys been partners, uh, business partners? How long have you guys been in business together? Uh, we've been 1996, 90, no, 97, yeah, 97, 98. So like 10 years ish. Yeah, we were business partners at first, but as we started working together on things. And uh, describe your relationship. Top, bottom, dominant, submissive, uh, uh, bitchy, yeah. ca yin, yang, bitchy, casual. Who's, who's what? <laughs> bitchy, casual. She's the new diva. Diva. And what's Todd, Mandy? Well, Mandy, I mean, Todd, I mean, what's your name? Uh, Todd. Todd is very quiet, strong type. We, we're not together as a, a, a couple. I'm sorry to disappoint you people out there, but there you go. Part. So there's still hope. If you want me to blow you later, just let me know. Okay? And I'd be known to lick, too, okay, for the ladies. Just like, other. <laughs> See how dirty these people are? That's what the they should have come to the I know. This, and you should know, actually, we're business partners, and, and Todd takes care of something, and I take care of the other thing. Okay, actually, one of, the, one of the things I'm doing on Wednesday nights, if you ever come by for the Mamie Good Handy Comedy and Porn Show, okay, if you come by, I'm, I'm going to be spanking um, 100 boys for the year 2009. Uh, and, <laughs> this is a new class, right? And so it's going to be released on a DVD, and that's what we're going to do, and it's going to be fun. And so anybody who wants to be spanked, or whether they want to or not, it doesn't really matter, we don't care. We just that's where you got your name, right? That good hand. Yes, that's where the Mandy Good Handy came from. The good, spanking. Good, yes, yeah. the spanking and good masturbating. Yes, it's either one or the other. Is it, I'm sorry, I'm not, I'm not allowed to say that here. No, no, you can say, oh, let her rip, honey. Oh, okay. I just, you got a fart, let her rip. I have you got going on. I don't think I go that shit. far, but it's just like I'm on the stool, anyway. It's like, I noticed you got props over here. I mean, and Margaret, ladies and gentlemen. This is very good. Mandy's right over here. Well, that was for real. Corey, did you want to demonstrate one of these? Corey is one of our. Look at you, you cute little fucker. Okay, Corey is one of the people. He works at Good Handies and he fits right in, so to speak. Uh, good Handies fits right in here. How about that? No, I'm just kidding. Anyway, he's a, he does bartending and waitering and whatever we need him for. So, could you please demonstrate one of these for us, please? You want to demonstrate a little something, Corey? Corey, you can always carry on, Corey, for a good demonstration. So what do you want to oh, do, Do you want to do a little something? Yeah, did you want to show us how, how this can be used in, what is, in everyday life? <laughs> <laughs> what are they, anyway? They're just like, they're the accents. Oh, it's art. Yeah, it's a little thing. I'd like to apologize to the artists and inventors. You only do bigger. Corey only does bigger. Oh, Let I only do does. Isn't that so typical of Corey? Come on, Corey. Corey, here's a new prize for you. Yes, give him a prize. <laughs> there you go. Oh, Corey, ladies and gentlemen. If you don't take a look you. Now, let me, everyone, everyone asks about this, and a lot of people, and there's been much written about it, but there is a law, I don't know if it's a bylaw or a law, is it Toronto, Ontario, or Canada? So why is your club now legal? What is that law? Oh, I can't explain that. Um, basically, in December 2005, the Supreme Court ruling related to a swingers club changed the definition of decency, of indecency. Indecency used to be whatever a judge wanted it to be. It was community standard. That was a term that said the judge could decide what indecency was. Indecency now has to be proven to cause harm. So that's basically what we're working with, is that what we do is not indecent because it, you walk, you'd have to prove to a judge beyond a reasonable doubt that we caused harm because you saw somebody suck a penis. Like physical harm or mental harm? Or harm, mental, physical, I guess. But you'd have to prove that it caused harm. Oh, uh, there was that there was that case in the United States where this guy, <laughs> causing harm, this 
guy walked in, he was watching Mary Hart on Entertainment Tonight, and he was like, oh my god, Mary Hart's voice is driving me crazy, so we went up to get an aspirin, and he walked into the wall, and he cut his skull open, and he fell, and he tried to sue Mary Hart because of her voice caused him harm. But he actually, and that's what those Americans do, they cause lawsuits. <laughs> We're not like that here in Canada, Brian. But so that's how, so it, but is it a Canadian thing, or a Toronto thing, or Ontario? Yeah, it was a Supreme Court ruling. I mean, there's an element of grayness to it, but it was a, it was a precedent in terms of that. That's what we're, we just, we just went with it. Right. And now there's uh, your club, and there's Wicked. Is there any other clubs that have, like, Black Eagle has a back room. 